am going back to the mall to do a little experiment that I tried out on my channel before. If you guys missed that video, I'll have it linked down below for you, but I started a series on my channel, if you will, that was inspired by my real life experience going shopping at the mall. Since I've gotten older and gained a little bit of weight, I have noticed that shopping in like traditional shopping malls has become increasingly difficult. There is a serious lack of diversity as far as sizing goes. And the two biggest culprits for this are Forever 21 and H&M. And if you guys saw that last video, I did go to Forever 21. It left me feeling a little less than stellar about myself. And I decided to break up with Forever 21. And so today I am going to be brave and go out on the journey back to the mall again to try out a little old friend of mine called H&M. Now, if you guys are familiar with H&M, similar to Forever 21, not as bad, but some people say even worse. They are infamous for having really limited sizing options and the sizes that they do have run incredibly small. So for example, I used to be anywhere from like a size eight to 10 and I used to have to wear sometimes a 12 and a 14 in H&M sizes. And now that I am more like a size 12 and a 14, I don't actually know if things at H&M will fit me. Because H&M doesn't, or at least in any of the stores that I've personally been to or my local stores, they don't have a plus size section. So it's just not the most inclusive store in general. And so since I am kind of that in between, like I'm flirting right along both lines of standard sizing and plus sizing, I figured I would go in and just try to see what the hell fits. Does anything fit? I don't know. We're going to find out together. I'm going to go and do a little bit of digging, a little bit of experimenting, going into a fitting room and having a moment of self doubt or low confidence is a very normal thing. Unfortunately that happens and I just never want anyone to feel alone. So I'm going to head to the mall. We're going to go to our friend and enemy H&M and dig to the bottom of this and see how it goes so wish me luck first place I absolutely need to check out I went immediately straight to this is the jeans because that is where I have the most trouble at this store and since they have supposedly made some adjustments to their sizing I feel like this is a good place to start so actually right off the top like this very first pair of jeans that's sitting out in the front is a size 14 so I'm gonna grab these to start however when I look through the rest of the rack here like I just did like I love this pair of black jeans I think they're so cute they're only available in mostly eight and I think there's like one ten and then through this entire rack right here, there is one size 12 and the rest like four, six, eight. Not a whole lot of size options for me to start, so we'll see. So far after searching through like basically this entire jeans area, surprisingly, I was actually able to find one, two, three, four, five pairs of jeans in my size. Which part of my problem at Forever 21 was that I would find things that were cute, but like then they wouldn't have them in my size, so I'd be forced to pick something else, which has happened a couple times here already, but nothing like it did there. So I mean, that's a positive so far. I think I'm gonna move into maybe like a couple pairs of shorts and then like maybe some dresses and tops. So this section is giving me a little bit of anxiety, but I did come over to this dress area and I thought that these were really, really cute. So I'm gonna search through and see if they have anything. So far we have a two, eight, two, two, six, two, four, two, six, six, four. Okay, maybe yellow. 10, two, six, six, two, eight, four, and six. Okay, well, seems to be how most of my experiences are shopping at the mall. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is in a nutshell, so maybe we'll find another dress. Found these like acid wash looking mom jeans that are really, really cute, but none of them are even close to my size, so thought I'd document that as well. Search through this entire rack of dresses and none of them are my size as well, so it's becoming quite a bit more difficult. Just looked through all of these dresses and I actually managed to find a size 12. I'm noticing that that is the biggest size that they carry in like a lot of their dresses and tops, but it seems like the bottoms go up to a 14, so. Ooh. 
Okay, I feel a million times better because someone came up to me right after I set the alarm and they were like, excuse me, and I was like, shit, I'm gonna get shut down. And she was like, are you Carrie? I watch your videos, I was like, yes. Ooh, so one of my people's here, I feel a lot better about it. I actually came over to this area over here and saw these little crocheted tops and I thought they were really cute and surprisingly, I have found my first XL. So here we go, we found our first XL top. In the beginning, I was kind of feeling like this whole experience was gonna be a lot better than the Forever 21 one and I don't really wanna compare them because they're totally separate experiences, but I will say it's still a very similar experience. There's not a whole lot of sizing options. I'm having to dig through a lot of things and then not find them. I don't want to document every single time, but usually I'll find an item that I like, dig through the entire rack of it, and then they don't have my size available. So that's just something to keep in mind if you've been thinking about shopping here. It's definitely a step up, but it's not ideal either. Because it's like the end or towards the end of summer, this is really the only shorts section that I can find, or at least the denim. So I'm gonna go through these and hopefully find a couple pair that fit and then we're gonna go into the fitting room and try on. All right, here's the overview of what we've got. It's got quite a bit to cover here, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. And so far, I kind of feel similar, like I mentioned, to how I felt before. I feel like I really settled with all of these items. These aren't my first choice. These aren't what I would wanna pick if I was coming into the store looking to shop. So I'm kind of like, eh, about it. I feel like there were items that I really liked, but then they didn't have them in my size, so then I had to settle for something else. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've got a couple things that are exactly my size, and then a couple things that might be a bit too small, but it's the biggest size they had available. We're gonna find out together. I think I'm gonna start easy and go with the dresses first. So we're gonna try on these three dresses and then we'll move on to the bottoms. Well guys, here's number one. <laughs> what do you guys think? This is the first item. It's this mustard dress that I was really looking forward to. It was the biggest one they had available. It is in a size 12. It will not go over my boobs for some reason, which is odd because I have no tits. Yikes. I'm definitely more of a size 14, but I do usually fit into a 12, especially in a dress. So this is odd for me. I am not quite looking forward to the pants if this is how it's gonna go, but we're gonna keep going. Otherwise I will have a mental breakdown. Cute. Okay, now here is the second dress, and this one is actually like borderline too big, and it's the same size. This is also a size 12. I'm so confused by this. It's a really cute dress. I really like it, but it's too freaking big, like in the waist. I'm so confused, and there's no pockets or anything, and it's like, it's kind of bulging out. I mean, I know they're different styles, but like, this is a 12, and this is a 12. You know what I mean? I would need to size down to a 10, and they didn't have one available, so. Excuse my bra underneath, but this is the third dress. It is also in a size 12 and it fits a lot better. It has this little tightening strap right here, which like helps make the dress a lot tighter, but it comes loose like very, very easily. And this is like a true wrap dress. Like it's not one of those faux wrap dresses. It definitely relies on this little guy. So maybe you could like tie it in a knot or something like that to secure it, but this does fit. It's like a great fit. I wouldn't go up or go down in size. It is a very, very, very stretchy material. So I think that's probably part of it, but I think this one's really cute. I'm actually like have nothing bad to say about it. I mean, I don't love this part right here. I kind of wish that it was just like a cute little tie instead of this like plastic buckle thing, but I mean, it's not bad. All right, next we're gonna move on to putting on this top and then trying on all these bottoms one by one. Okay, I just have so much to say, <laughs> okay. So this top is actually way too big. I would need to size down to at least a large in this because it is an XL. And then with these shorts, okay, don't mind my underwear. The thing about this is, yeah, I'm more now leaning towards a size 14, but I still can fit into a 12. Like they definitely go on and this is just not okay. I mean, I had to fight to try and even get them on this far. As you can see, like I don't even really have much leg mobility. Like it's stuck. We're tight in here. These are a fail. Let's move on to the next. Okay, now we're talking. I might actually have to buy this. This is really cute. I did find this leopard print skirt in a size 14. It's very stretchy. I have room in it. I don't feel constrained at all. I could totally get away with wearing my bike shorts under it. I always have a problem when I'm wearing mini skirts to where I feel like my butt just like stretches it out and my stomach and just makes it so much shorter. But this is a really good length as well. Very happy with this. I actually think I might have to buy this. This took a turn that I did not expect, but I'm rolling with it. This is like this with a band tee. You guys, come on. You know, you know the drill. These shorts are a size 12 and like it looks good, right? You see it, you're like, okay. Is there a party going on out here? Okay, so you see these and you think, 
take three okay you see these and you think like oh not bad right it's a size 12 looks okay and then you get a little closer <laughs> yeah girl is about to burst this can of biscuits is about to pop these are just a no i need to take them off immediately they're stretchy which i appreciate but a size 12 is just way too small for me i definitely need a 14 or possibly a 16 but i don't even know if they offer that maybe they have stuff online but this is the biggest pair of shorts that they had like these and it's just not not it it's not the haps we gotta move on okay so these jeans are called the embrace and let me tell you they are embracing my body all right they're like a nice black i like the you know raw hem on the bottom or whatever they call it but these are a size 33 which i believe is the equivalent of a u.s size 16 and they are quite tight in the stomach area but then i have like a huge gap in the back it's very confusing these are kind of more of their higher end jeans these are priced at 30 $9.99 and they just feel awful. These are just not it. I wanted them to be but they're not. Next up we have their mom jean which are actually a size 14 like a US size 14 and I know it says they're supposed to be a looser fit on the tag here but they're almost like too loose especially you can see in the back here. This is something that happens to me a lot probably because I have no butt but I have like a ton of fabric right here and then they fit like okay in the thigh. These just aren't like the right fit and style for me but they do like Fit. If we're just looking at like, are they my size or not? Yes, they are. So I mean, this is an option. So these are just their regular jeggings. These ones are acid wash. They're supposedly in a size 32, which is typically the biggest size that you will find in their store. And they don't look bad. They just feel a little bit tight. As you can see, they're kind of like cutting into my stomach here. Got a little bit of overflow, which is what I try to avoid when I'm wearing jeans. This just isn't my favorite fit. Like in the legs, they fit okay. But I mean, you saw the struggle in trying to put these on. Just had to be real and throw that in there for you. We're moving a little bit down the price scale with these as well, and they go for $19.99. So they keep like jumping down $10. I really like the wash of them. They're a very, very, very thin material, and I would probably want to go a size up in these. So definitely not true to size, in my opinion. I mean, trying on these compared to like a Madewell size 32 is night and day. So we're gonna move on to our last two pair, which are both $9.99. So here we just have their $9.99. I think this is their cheapest skinny jean i mean it's not bad here's the thing for 10 bucks it's really not bad i mean these do fit i got these in a size 33 which is kind of a unicorn find but i was pretty excited to find it so this and the last pair are actually both a 33 am i gonna get these no like are they the most terrible thing i've ever worn no of course not but i'm gonna have to pass on these but let's move on to the last pair and here's the last pair uh Eh, they're not the most high-waisted thing in the world, which is really unflattering. They're paper thin. I feel like you can see like the outline of my vagina. I'll step back a little bit so you can see better, but yeah, just not my fave. Not the worst thing I've ever tried, but about as low quality as it can get for jeans, just being honest. But as far as like, do they fit? I mean, yeah, they do, so. That size is available. It is my size. Does it look the best? Probably not, but it is available, so. There you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other store recommendations that you want me to try out next, definitely let me know in the comments below. I also really want to start going to more size inclusive stores. I have a lot of stores written down on my list for places that I wanna go that really feature a variety of different body shapes and sizes. So be on the lookouts for that. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.